Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Honorable Philip J. Pierre, was paid a courtesy visit by the United Kingdom State Minister, Minister for Energy, Clean Growth and Climate Change, the Right Honorable Anne Marie Trevlin. Discussions centered around climate resilient projects, which are being implemented in St. Lucia by the United Kingdom government to strengthen the country's capacity to deal with a change in weather patterns. One of the major areas of cooperation is the economic infrastructural projects, namely the Millennium Highway and the West Coast Road Upgrade Project. These projects are expected to boost economic growth, reduce travel time, and build the climate resilience of St. Lucia's road network. I'm sure the Minister for Infrastructure will, will enlighten you on the work we're doing on our roads. Mm -hmm. And again, the West Coast of our, of our country, where, that's where we have the Pitons, you know, the Pitons is, is a World Heritage Site. And then we needed to improve that, that, that network. Mm -hmm. That initiative was taken before I was in government, mm -hmm. but as I've always said, when even an initiative is started, once it's a good initiative, we, we shall continue. So we want to, we want to continue that work for the, the, the employment that it, it will create and for the infrastructure improvement. The Prime Minister highlighted other areas for cooperation, including tourism, building climate resilience, crime reduction and the youth economy, as the government manages the economy, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic and the ongoing global spike. The UK State Minister, the Right Honourable Anne-Marie Trevlin, who is on the last leg of her regional visit, addressed issues of access to finance by small island developing states to not only mitigate against disasters but also to build climate resilience. I'm here really in my role as the uh, adaptation champion uh, for the COP26 presidency. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great title. Um, what it really meant was we, uh, as we took on the presidency, we, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson was very clear that he wanted uh, to make sure that this COP, the COP that we are hosting, uh, rebalanced uh, across the piece all the issues from the Paris Agreement, not only the challenges of mitigation and making sure that countries who are major emitters uh, work very hard to reduce those, which is obviously critical, but the other issues, both in terms of finance, as you mentioned, uh, and how finance is allocated and is accessible, and the challenges of adaptation and resilient investment are made so that we look across the whole piece because it should be looked at holistically because as you say for St Lucia and for other uh, regional uh, countries the issue is not the mitigation challenge but the ability to be resilient to those uh, weather impacts which are coming even if we manage to solve mitigation tomorrow we've had those impacts already and they're coming for years to come so the ability to become more resilient is critical. The government of St. Lucia will participate in COP26, which will be held in Glasgow to find ways to tackle transformational projects.